Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yeah. You are knowing what you are wanting. Mm -hmm. And you are enjoying the expansion of your own desire. Yeah. Sometimes. You're keeping up with it pretty well. In other words, do you think that what you desire is believable? Do you believe in your own expansion and in your own becoming? Do you believe in your ability to let more and more of what you want into your experience? Because that really is the key to living happily ever after. You cannot slow your desire making down because life just makes more desire the variety that surrounds you and your ability to focus and your inability not to focus. In other words, you cannot help but focus. Your personal perspective just keeps you being the focusing mechanism that you were born to be. So you just keep focusing more and more desire into more and more clarity. You can't stop that. But you do have options about how well you keep up with your own desire. And by that we really mean what we just asked you, how much of the new desire that your life constantly helps you to give birth to, how much of that desire do you believe? Sometimes as you've been moving through life, you've not only picked up desire, but you've picked up conflicting beliefs about your desire. Your life sort of teaches you how you feel about things. And since most people are mostly just responding to life, in other words, most people are just having a knee jerk response to life. So their life teaches them a sort of habit of thought. That's what a belief is. A belief is just a thought that you continue to think. It's a habit of thought. And so sometimes those habits of thought you pick up from those who were up close to you when you were very, very young. It's a very common thing that what your parents believed is what you believed because as they believed it, it's what the law of attraction brought to them. And since the law of attraction brought it to them, then it manifested in their experience. And so you witnessed it. And what you witnessed is what you believe because you'd feel crazy not to believe what you're witnessing. There it is right there in full view. The data is all right there. The proof is right there in front of me and therefore I believe it. And so it's not the easiest thing to hear that you can believe differently and therefore you can attract differently and therefore life can be different because most aren't doing that. Most are just observing. So most are offering most of their vibrational frequency. And that matters so much in response to what they are observing. And because they're offering that frequency, the law of attraction is responding to that frequency and giving them more of what that frequency is. So it's really easy to come to believe in not enough of the things you want, not enough money, not enough love, not enough kindness, not enough clarity. It's easy to believe it because that's what you're witnessing. We want you to realize that you have more options in what you believe that you can believe past what is. In fact, we want to say that even more clearly, you gotta believe past what is if you want to be a deliberate creator most don't most don't believe beyond what is it is and so they observe it they like it or don't they have an emotional response that reflects whether they like it or whether they don't they get more of whatever it is that they're focused upon which makes them believe it more and then most people set about taking those manifestations that are nothing more than response to their vibration and sorting them into piles. That's a good pile. And that's a bad pile. That's a wanted pile. That's an unwanted pile. And then 
most humans argue over about the rightness or the wrongness of the piles not realizing that they can participate in whichever pile of whichever subject that they want to and that their attention to it is what causes more of that to come to them this law of attraction is the law that organizes the entire universe the law of attraction in its purest definition says that which is likened to itself is drawn so doesn't matter what you're giving your attention to you get what you think about so the key is to think about what you want even if what you've got isn't what you want and some say Whew, that's not the way I think I think I should face reality and we say we don't want to upend your beliefs and we're not trying to get you to believe things that you don't already believe it isn't about there being this belief system that we want you to believe in we just want you to gain the control of your own experience that you were born expecting to live we just want you to be the deliberate creator that you were so excited about being when you made the decision to come into this leading edge environment when you as a creator wanted to come and see what's around and evaluate it from your personal and very specific and very important perspective and then from that place come to your own serious and important conclusions about what you prefer from where you stand because you understood that when the preference was born within you that if you had the ability to focus in the direction of your preference that the law of attraction and all of the energy of the universe would move in the direction of your attention attention